No plugins, no gimmicks, and no crazy mechanics. This is the regular SMP. Okay, so immediately, first thing when we get in the server, let's get some basic tools. So while we're doing this, let's think of a bit of a game plan. We are going to try and get as much loot as possible. And the reason for this is, well, this is an SMP. They don't tend to be the safest thing. Okay, did I just try to craft a, a dandelion? What, what am I doing? Wait, do I have two shovels? Oh my god, I have... Okay, you know what? The, the more shovels, the, the, the nicer, you know? Because, like, who doesn't like shovels? Okay, so, what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to find a cave. I'm just really scared because I don't want to bump into anything scary. Oh. Yo, we found a cave. Okay, you know what? Now we found a cave. Let's, let's grab some ores. So after not getting so lucky with my ores, I decided, you know what, I have an iron pickaxe, so why don't I try and find some diamonds? So I dug down all the way to, like, is it minus 56? Yeah. Uh, I dug down to minus 56, uh, placed a trapdoor, and began dive mining. This is gonna take a while. Five minutes later. <laughs> Wow, okay, uh, that was quick. Maybe this isn't gonna take so long after all. Okay, there we go. We are officially out the cave with diamond armor. Like, that was a very productive trip, don't you guys think? Unless I'm pretty sure there's like a zombie, yeah. I'm gonna eat you now because I don't have any food. We came out like the perfect time too. We literally have three hunger bars left. Alright, let's find some food to eat. probably already. Oh my gosh, a village. Yes. Alright, guys, it's great. Okay, now we found a village. We can sleep. Oh, also, guys. Now I'm at um, eight diamonds. I can actually craft everything I wanted to. So I decided that I was going to build a house. And for this house, I'm going to use some spruce logs. So instead of actually exploring and finding trees to break down to get the logs, I decided to just, just completely annihilate a villager's home. <laughs> okay, so now this house is literally just like absolutely annihilated. Uh, we can start moving on to other things, such as... Well, honestly, we can make a house here. Literally, right here. That could work. And Because now, now we have the strip spruce wood we want to use. We can honestly just, just get started.
Okay, so guys, I I just did the floor to my house. I literally just remembered I need to start recording. So I did the floor to my house. I went off for some time and I came back and now I just did the floor to my house. Uh, and now what I want to do, I'm going to make like a water stream to move everything in. And while I've been gone, like stuff has been going on. Like I'm pretty sure people like establishing teams. So I, that's cool. I don't know if that's something to me, for me to worry about or yeah so i was walking around my home village because i was gonna see if i could find any hay bales for food which was kind of stupid because this was a spruce village and they don't have hay bales but yeah anyways so after going around i realized hold on there's a fisherman in a boat and i did not put that fisherman in a boat so that means somebody has been at my base i didn't know who but I was going to find out who it was. So now I'm going to be adding up just some finishing touches and details to the bottom layer of my house. Yeah, I think I'm going to go off and then finish the rest of the house well, tomorrow morning. Alrighty, so the house is not fully finished. But I think that is it for me to the de for the day. I think I'm going to log on tomorrow and see if we can finish our house. But for today... Okay. I think I'm gonna get some sleep. Okay, here we are. Let's let's go back onto the SMP because apparently there's like this stuff going on. I don't know. Oh, and here we are. We're loading back on. I wonder if anyone is. No. No way. I swear, whoever did this, I'm gonna get revenge. So after getting a potential suspect, I decided to hop in a call with this guy's teammate to see what more info I could acquire. He's gonna regret it. Yo, oh. do you know his base codes? Um, his base codes is my base codes. Really? Yeah. Did he log off at the base? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. Can I come to your base? Uh. Okay. Okay. Don't. I won't grief it because it's your base too. Yeah. Uh. But damn, I can't believe it was him. Yeah. Oh no, I'm about to destroy. That's how. Man. That's how he um got um the achievement that fast. Really? He got. Yeah, he got diamonds for a Stone Age bro. Oh wow. Okay. I right, thank you, Open Sam. This. Okay, thank you. Wait, okay. Quartz. So after acquiring his base cords, I decided that I was going to go to his base and wait for him to log on. Let's just hope that I didn't log on while I am sleeping. Here we go. Here we are. My enemy's base. Okay, I think I'm going to log off here and look in the chat for a bit to see if I can catch him off guard when he next logs on. So, for, I thought I was recording all of this, but some stuff happened. Turned out he moved bases, and he went on actually while I was sleeping, which is kind of sad. So, like, he moved bases, I managed to find his base, and right now I'm burning down his house. And you see that hole with the golem? Yeah, that's where he logged off, and I'm waiting for him to come, so I can murder him. <laughs> it's very, this is a, it's a very tense moment. Okay, so after one whole hour of waiting for this guy, I, I kind of just came to a realization that he is not going to log on until he is 100% sure I am gone. So what I did, I decided to trap where he logged off just with like a massive drop. 
So when he logs on, he'll just he'll fall and die. Then I can log on and grab all the loot because I I need my revenge. Uh, but uh, I I need to leave. I, I don't have any drips, so that's not really an issue. Two thousand years later. Oh crap. Oh, it looks like I got my kill. <laughs> oh well, yo, at least I at least I got my kill, you know. So after getting my kill, I thought I I'd feel I'd feel better. I'd feel happier that I got my revenge. But no, it felt the same. All that all this kill did was demotivate players on the server, make them more scared to play, and I made almost everyone on the verge of qu quitting. I needed to make this right. The only way to fix this was to make peace with my enemies. So that's exactly what I did. I sent them a message telling, th giving them the cords to my base. I told them that now this is our base. I learned that you need sometimes you just need to forgive and forget, especially in Minecraft servers.